I'm praying they night, yeah, I know scared for me. Scared for me. Out here in these trench, boys, same story. Same story. Running up that check, no guts, no damn glory. No damn glory. Spin around that block, boy, make a scene going. <sighs> Death for focus, I'm a real fucking rat. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, we back, we back. Hot Side Podcast, man. Episode 57. 57, man, we back, mm-hmm. man. Me boy B Hot, man. It's Queasy's way in the building. Uh-huh. You already know we got SAS 2 4 in the Let's building, go, man. Child, Hot Society t shirts, merchandise, man. Yeah. Hit me up, man, if y'all want. It's looking fit on you know what I mean? I've been doing these pull ups. You see, you see them shits, man. Doing the burpees. Man. My guns, man. Yeah, what this man about a year now? Y'all been out gone? There, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over a little bit over a year. About a month about over a year. This, yeah, we're like September. Started like September, what? <laughs> September 21st Six, was, our, was our first day. 2019 it's a blessing, man. It was right. our first uh podcast, man. But we got we got O in the building. Right. Feel me? My man. Feel me? Oh yeah. Right. We got O in the building, How man. You my man on the, back on the show, man. You feel me? How you been, O? Shit, man. I want I want my nigga Nightingale up here, man. Nightingale, yeah, I don't know. Nightingale, you gotta call him. Get Nightingale on the line, contact. man. Yeah, you gotta call him. Nightingale, Nightingale is not. Uh, we, we we gonna get Nightingale on the line later. We gonna have him call up, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You gonna get him later? Well, yo, how y'all been doing though? What's going on, man? Nah, like you, man, trying to survive the pandemic, man. This shit crazy. Stop man. going to the strip clubs. Yeah. With, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? The chicks in there ain't got no mask on. Oh, but dirty deep. Mm-hmm. 30 deep in the strip yeah. club with a bunch of Spanish. Oh, yeah, let me tell you that. I go to the I I go to the block, right? My man O over there. I'm gonna check my man O out, right? So it's this chick over there. Mm. Spanish chick, you know what I mean? She she a little off and shit, a little loopy and shit. Oh yeah, this girl. So man. right. So O telling me, yo, he's he like, yo, never mind this girl right here, right? <laughs> so yo, she different. She he tell me a story with a chick. Yo, you know how you know how you a kid and shit back in the day, and a motherfucker like, be like what, what's dude, that? Dude, like, look, like, you what's know that? He like point at you. He be like, yo, what's that? <laughs> Why she do oh, that goofy dang. shit? Yeah. To my pandemic, you be washing hands. Cut my motherfucking Crazy, yo, my niggas. Yo, crazy. But look, look, look. He telling me a crazy, story. Crazy. Yeah, he actually did it too. Man. Yeah, it's an old school shit. He wanted to do that. Yeah, he wanted to be mad. He was waiting to do that shit. Back. Yeah, you can tell. He, tell he wanted bro. to do it, but she did it to him, though. And like, I'm saying twice. him telling him about this shit, like, yo, she did this shit last time she was drunk. Why she come over there? She, she do it talk. again. She like, oh, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I tell my man, I'm like, yo, bro, tell you, this is like his lady slash roommate. I'm like, yo, talk to her, bro. I'm like, Lady I slash roommate. How you fucking you, what you mean? What lady <coughs> slash roommate? Like, hey, roommates. I guess. It's like, his, I it's like his girl in the house, but when he come outside, he's single. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Oh, they got an open relationship, you saying, basically. Yeah. Basically, they yeah. got an open relationship. So I tell him, like, yo, bro, talk to that, that bro, bro. Yeah. I seen that, what was that, yesterday, I think. She did, did it again? Nah, she was like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, when I get drunk, you know, I just get... I'm not gonna understand that, but this girl right. be on a thousand. <laughs> like, you can tell she be off some type of pills, too, though. Yeah, it it just ain't liquor. Like, she's a little off. She Damn. mixing the Tylenol 4 with the. Uh, yeah, she mixing the C3s with something else, with something else. Let me tell you, drugs is, is powerful, man. She be off the it's Adderall, a powerful too. Thing, man. Drugs is powerful. I don't, I don't consider marijuana drugs, but, like, edibles can be dangerous. Yeah? Yeah, very, very dangerous. Like, no, that's why I just smoke my shit. Let me right. tell you. You feel me? No, 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 let me tell you. It's good. It's good. Shit. If you take, you got to take the right amount, though. You can't, you can't take too much. What the fuck, man? No, seriously. I, I thought that I could handle a that's lot. like a nigga saying smoking coke, but look, just smoke a nickel. Nah, <laughs> no, no, no. This is way different. Mm-hmm. This that's is how you way broke it down. You tell a motherfucker don't do drugs, or that's no, not no, no, drugs. No, no, no. You this can't is, do too much. But this is marijuana, though. <laughs> this, this is, this but is. You don't know who making that shit, though. You don't know what they putting in that shit. Look, I'm getting this shit from the source. Put his name out there. No, I can't do that. <laughs> he said, I can't this do is, that. This is, I mean, this is edibles. You feel? You could take that something. You just can't take a lot. I don't be liking shit like that. Yeah, look, I took too much last night. I thought it was over. I'm gonna be honest with you. About to die. Mm. Nah, I thought I thought it was over. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I'm like, I don't what know. Happened? It was too much, bro. I woke, I went to sleep. This, this is how powerful this shit is. You be too high, you fall asleep. Nah, right you out. fall asleep. You not. I woke up and it was, I was worse. I was scared. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I was terrified, but I'm not even over exaggerating. How much you ate? What you like? The you whole had? pack. The, pack. Pack. What you had? the whole pack. Five hundred milligrams. Shit, my smell down. Yo, Why you ate the whole pack? pack? Because I, I Shit, usually on, can man. eat the whole pack and I'll be good. But this was a different. Overestimated this one. Yeah, this, this was a different pack, and it was it was really five hundred milligrams. Every bit of it. I, I was terrified Yo last man night. see I, 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 Yo it like, explains yeah. why This nigga sound like He was dead this morning I no, called you Yeah you see, called me you this morning right that cigarette Your yeah, man was oh. like Jesus that nigga was He like, talking oh. about some He talking about PCP We talked about this I, Yo Yo you God. talking about B was done up Yeah I was one time I I never smoked that shit again <laughs> I ain't never see B like that That nigga was no, done No no I can't. can't even see you doing that, big man. You get the wholesome brother, like you feel me? Yeah, this is this is a different point in my life, you know. Nah, this shit was like last week. Good father figure type shit. <laughs> said said last week. week. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different part of my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't had no. Well, I had one. I had one kid at the time. I think. Oh, you did? No, I don't think you had no kid at the time. Who that? I think that's oh, my man calling. Right. I think we got somebody calling in from uh from West Philadelphia down here with the. Cause you know the, the mm -hmm. uh, cops had shot another. Well, he was armed. Supposedly, he had a knife. What the mental, the mental dude? Walter Walter Wallace. He, he his mother, name. right? Yeah. Yeah. Walter Wallace yeah, Jr. Yeah, Nigga, be, white dude, running that police with rocket launchers and be, and be walking away, man. Yeah. Shit, yeah, man. more than that. Is he on the line? Do we got him on the line? We got. Yeah, yeah. I fish you peanut. Yo, yo, what's going on, bro? You hear me? Yeah, what's going on? I can, I can hear you. You can hear me. What's going on? Yo, introduce for the people real quick. Introduce yourself. Let them know who you is, what you do, and where you from. Um. Okay. Yeah. Well, my name is um Peanut Fisher Peanut, man. I'm from um I'm from North Philly, born and raised. Um, live in Philadelphia, and um, you know, I'm a I'm a comedian, a film director. I do a, a little bit of different things. I'm an artist. Um, okay. It's more so like an Instagram influencer, really. Okay, okay, okay. But you know what I mean with the uh with, with, with the incidents that went down with the police with Walter Wallace down there. First, tell us a little bit about how, did, did you know Walter Wallace personally? Uh, I personally didn't know him. You know, um, you know, I was just sitting. I don't think I was sitting in my car, in the car at, at one point, and then I I seen a video pop up. And all of a sudden, I see this, this, you know, this young boy, you know, he running by the car. Um, you know, I knew he had something in his hand, but then I just see the cops just shoot him out of nowhere. Um, mm. Shoot him and kill him. Everybody screaming at him. His mom, you know, was upset. You know, she, uh, you know, she didn't know how to react to the situation. That You know, and then two cops, man, uh, being, you know, that's actually on the scene and handling a situation, um, it's hard for her to, to grasp for that, you know, to, you know, if you had a son, like your son just got shot, like what you know, how you gonna react to that situation? Right, right, right. right. So, it was just so you so seen sad. you you seen this this actual situation happen? Yeah, I seen it. I got uh, somebody sent me the clip to my phone, and then um immediately, you know, I started thinking to myself, like you know, that could have been, you know, that could have been one of my kids. That could have been somebody I knew close to, somebody in the family member or. Somebody that a friend or family or somebody that you know that knew me, and I said I wanted to, to be there to support the situation, you know, to support the whole in the incident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you 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 was down there when, when, once the riots happened and they started all and the whole looting thing and all that went on, right? Yeah, I was actually down there for the first day. I was down there when they you know they was upset. Everybody was angry. They was protesting in front of the fifty fifty fifth and Pine at the uh, police district. And um, the police wasn't actually, uh, they wasn't giving nobody no type of answers or nothing as far as, uh, you know, as far as what they was going to do as far as this case or this issue with the with the young man that was shot and killed. Um, and then they just took it all over to the to, to main parts of West Philadelphia. They took it and they looted, you know what I mean? They looted, they broke, uh, you know, destroyed a lot of stuff, properties, and they was upset. It was really burning a lot of stuff down here in, in, in my city. Oh, yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah. So but I, I, what I wanted to call, cause you know, there's people out there who who are uh, putting the narrative out that that the, uh, Mr. Mr. Wallace, you know that that he wasn't such a upstanding character that 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 he like beat his mother and and, and threatened well, to kill his mother and things like that. Well, you know, he did have a mental a mental problem with him, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. as that we can't you know we can't judge and know what you know what physically 
went down on, you know, went down with, in his life. You know, you know, as me as growing up, you know, we all have issues with our families that we deal through, whether it was our mother or father that we go to go, go through in our in our life. We don't know his situations. He could have been he could have been raped, molested. He could have been abused. We don't know as far as, you know, how he reacted to or how he did react to his mom. So I can't judge the man because I don't know his history. And even if I did, I know that we're not perfect. You know, human beings make mistakes. And we just got to move forward when it, you know, when it comes to our life. We got to be able to, to to help the situation to make things better. So not just for us, for our family, and for our younger generation coming up. No, definitely. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, like, like that was my whole point. Like, even though, even if he would, even though he probably did some some shit that probably people don't probably wouldn't agree with. Still, I don't believe that's enough for nah. for you to lose your life or nothing like that. Yeah. And yo, just to, to like, lose your life, yeah. And pun on and then something. I was told, you know? I just want to impun on something that you said, yo. What you said, he had mental health il- I- issues. You know what I mean? And I think that's a big thing that's going on. You know what I'm saying? That would you think if it was a mental health counselor on the, the actually at that incident at the time could have made it a little bit of a difference instead of an actual I, police officer, you know, just firing their guns like that? I just felt like it, I felt like it could be. It would have been better. And like I felt like it would have been a better situation because then now you're dealing with somebody that knows how to talk to to, to somebody that's actually in that situation. Mm-hmm. Now you know I, I actually used to uh, work at a job when I went to college because I got my degree in criminal justice and law, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So you know I had work I had worked for these for an agency called um the Valley Youth House, and um, we work we we pretty much work with kids and stuff like that, like kids that's going through a mental crisis as as if you know as if this situation, and we're trained to disperse any situation that goes down as far as, you know, with any of those kids, you know, I used to sit down with a social worker and the um, social worker and the therapist and a, and a counselor and, and different people about how can we make these kids, uh, you know, how can we make their life better and what we can do to, to give them the resources to, to, to uh, you know, to feel better and feel like they're safe. No, definitely. De-escalation is the key. And I think that's what was missing in this situation. You know, word up. But is the riots and stuff calmed down by by now out there in West Philadelphia? Um, uh, the riots ain't calmed down. They've been rioting. They still rioting. That took it down to they took it down to our city hall, which is our downtown part. Uh, they took it down to our city hall, and now they got you know they called the national guard, so now they got the national guard here, uh, locked and loaded in certain places of Philly. Uh, even I feel bad for a lot of neighborhoods because like. You know, other neighborhoods got bigger looting, like real serious looting as far as like the stores being looted. And it's just like, I don't agree with the looting. I understand you're mad. But at the end of the day, you guys buy from, you know, buy from the poppy store. Y'all buy from the Dominicans. Y'all buy from the Chinese people. You know, why? y'all buy from these companies. Y'all family buy from these companies. So why destroy something when, you know, we got family members that really need to shop there or really need items or, or medicine or products from there. And now everything's closed. We can't get access to certain things. Maybe maybe the people feel like they don't own it, so they just feel like they don't want them there. Yeah, maybe true, but at the end of the day, or it's like, or it's no like, benefit to them. They just they just taking from them, so they probably like if they got to drive a little extra while to go get what they need, so be it. But some of them not have yeah, that luxury so, to drive. Yeah. So now yeah, we got people crazy. that don't have a job. We got people that that they can't be able to pay their bills. We got people that. You know, uh, all the Wawa's, I'm not sure if you guys, I'm, you guys got Wawa's in New Jersey, but up here in Philadelphia, we got a lot of Wawa's, like every corner. Like, yeah. And most of the Wawa's is closed because people, now people ain't able to make money. And like, that's just why I go to the ATM, man, because the ATM is free. That's the place I just go. I go because they got everything that I need as far as my yeah. Wawa, you know, my Wawa. Like, I like to go. Yeah, I you see know, some Wawa's bored now up I got to go to 7-Eleven because 7-Eleven is open. Yeah, but that like you gotta think like that that would be real unfortunate. Like if you if you not really not a part of that, like the the loot and this shit, like you trying to live your everyday life and then everything is closed or or you can't really get no food or nothing. Like I, it's pretty messed up, man. But I think that the cops, like they know this type of thing gonna happen. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. like like when when they do stuff like this, I I don't yeah. know how I, could, I don't know how we could fix this like. Yeah, yeah it's, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's no, it's no fixing this situation. Man, it's no fixing it because 
the I cops are gonna do that. what they want to do. Yeah. They they're a gang, they're an organization, <coughs> and they 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 want to have the control because they fear. I always say that they fear our communities. They fear where we come from, and you know they putting cops in our communities that don't even know anything about our history or our culture or where we come from. Bingo. And they don't even know how to handle customer service. So uh, being a cop is customer service. Like I remember when I was growing up. Like being a cop, I, cops used to come out in a few situations with fights when I used to fight people on my block. And now it's not even like that. The first thing they're doing is they, they locking up people up and they, you know, you they want to, you know, quit the doors under instead of make, instead of fix the situation. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely, yeah, that's we, good. we definitely need a, a better uh, relationship or, or a whole new establishment to have a relationship from. But, uh, but yo, man, we, we we appreciate you calling in, man. You know, man, you can come up anytime you want. Come up to the show, come kick it with us, man. Okay. You already know, man. I appreciate you calling in. Definitely. You know what I mean? We I and we gonna pray for West Philadelphia and the whole Philadelphia. Mm. Right, I appreciate you, man. No problem, man. All right. Yeah, big, man, man. That man. shit is crazy it's, down there. Man. And like, oh, what you said, prevention. They they not. Developing any prevention plans behind yeah, this shit. going to jail behind it. I it think the only one that might go to jail is old boy that did that shit in North when he was chasing that own. That, that, that little yeah. Yeah. I think he might go to jail. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, that shit's still going on. Why the fuck y'all still killing it? They ain't doing nothing about it. No. Nah. You know what get me mad when, when, when you bring this up to certain black people and they be like, well... You know, Black Lives Matter, but yeah, you right. But they gotta matter to 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 when well, to other Black people as well. When when it's a regular shooting, when it when it's not involved the police mm-hmm. and shit, mm-hmm. which makes sense on the surface. But when you really think about it, bro, it be consequences. it's consequences behind that. That that that's the main difference. Biggest difference. If me and you get into a beef, and you shoot and kill me, they they gonna be on your bumper, bro. The police, you going to jail for the rest of your life for that. Mm-hmm. They going on a vacation to Hawaii or some shit like that. They get <clears throat> donations from their community. Go fund me donations and shit to, for, for their retirement. Or if they want to, you know what I mean, get Yo, a desk job and shit like that, a promotion. Let's look at this mm-hmm. scenario, bro. It was two scenarios, all right? We got a scenario in New York. A police officer went on his uh, Viacom speaker and was like, vote for tro- Trump. Vote for, a vote for Trump, right? He got suspended without pay. You saying vote for that? Trump? Vote for Trump. Now, mm-hmm. what are the officers that's killing black people all day, he every suspended day? Suspended with pay. Suspended with pay. Right there says it all, bro. That, and that, that happened in New family, York yeah. with the guy, you know, saying, yo, vote for Trump. That happened in New York. And he got suspended without pay because you can't put your political views while you're in uniform you feel me that is that so you can't say that but yo that that's crazy and that just sends like you know what i mean black or white he was white oh yeah i only when it comes to political shit the political political views divide any people but that's crazy bro that's crazy but this this the kind this the kind this the catch 22 like you find ourselves in and shit like that like you can have freedom of speech in america but you can't but can yeah, you really? But can speech. you really let a racist somebody that's an open racist like police uh, area where he's like people he don't like though? I don't think that got nothing to do with freedom of speech. Like being, being openly racist. Well, you talking about as far as saying racist shit? That's what you nah, mean? Nah, I'm talking about like like you just don't like a motherfucker. You just don't like you just hate motherfuckers. Yeah, you hate black people like this. But like how would they know? Like like how, how like because you could sit there motherfucker like because like yeah I'm not real I got look I got a black friend type shit you know how people do mm-hmm. so how I, how would you determine like yo yeah you definitely racist so you yeah, can't because they real subtle with the yeah, shit yeah motherfucker know what I'm especially if they know that they gonna they gonna hide it so they can get the job and shit all right people do that all the time when you go on a job you mm-hmm. feel me like you know what I mean you put on the front and shit yeah. Um, I, I know my motherfucker don't go on the job being who they really you know what I mean. I don't know. I don't know. You won't get the job. You do that after you get a you yeah, know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah. What's up, my nigga? To go on the job. Like, yeah, what's up, bro? You, I heard you got that job for me. Type shit. <laughs> yeah, let me ask y'all this. Like this this girl I know work is a nurse and shit, right? She work in a nurse or whatever, and she work around a lot of like uh, elderly white people and shit though. So for whatever reason, her and the lady, elderly white lady, talking and shit. 
And like, uh, mind you, she wiping the lady, she wiping the lady ass while they talking and shit though. So she asked whatever she they talking about. She asked about the a dude that the white lady was dating, and like, uh, the white lady, whatever his name, had a black sounding name. So she asked him was it was the, was the dude black that she was dating. The white lady looked at her and said, "Why she wiping her ass? I would never date a nigga like you feel me? This is why she wiping this lady's ass like." So I asked, "Did she finish wiping?" I'm like, "I'm like, I, 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 I'm like, yo, I, I, I couldn't like myself." As a self respect, I couldn't finish that. Like, you gotta do that shit yourself now. Like, you feel me? Wait, so, like, I'm no, a nigga so. now. I'm gonna show you some nigga shit. I'm gonna quit the middle of job. Like, yeah. what's she do? I'm professional as hell. Like, huh? What's she do? She talking about, she like, uh, she said she was caught off guard. She like, she said she was just shocked. But the other lady, some other white lady was in there talking about that's not nice and all that. It's down the third. Nice. Like, Man, nah, I would have motherfucking. I would have went in reverse with that that shit rag, wipe that shit right back up her ass. Man, <laughs> that shit right back. That, that shit in there. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm finished. <laughs> I, I don't know how that, that shit right. You being a kind as lady is and wiping your ass. You that you some shit you can't do because nobody want that job. I don't give how much you pay. You can't pay me to wipe nobody ass. Like I mean, yo, nurses yeah. do that shit all day though. Yeah, that's part of that's part of their job. Yeah, that's some, that's some shit though. Like. And, Hey, yeah, especially I, dude, trying to get him to jerk him off, all type of shit up there. Nah, like, bro, yeah. it's, it's all, bro, it's all, it's, it's, it goes down in there, man. That's all to all them people that do that type of job, man. And yeah, they, right, and bro, mind you, they, I can't, I can't, they, they all have uh, continued, uh, they, they continue to work and do that. Like that. Man, I can't even wipe a dead elderly family. <laughs> I, I love my mother. I don't think I could have wiped my mother like. I they got that bounty, I could have did that. Like you nah. feel me? I probably gotta get somebody up in there. Like I'm saying, like, see, I ain't gonna, I, yeah, worst case scenario. But damn, I'd have been trying to put that shit off. Like, you see, that's why they, that's why <laughs> nurses are usually uh, women. Yeah, right. you feel what I'm saying? Like, ain't too many male nurses and shit like that. You got male doctors you got and shit. You got, you got some. You got some. You got some. Nurses. Nurses. You got, I know a couple. Nowadays, <coughs> I'm saying that's predominantly a, a, yeah, a female, female thing, job. Though. Yeah. But like, the males that work in it, they love that shit. That shit yeah, yeah, cause you ain't shit. They ain't lifting boxes. And, and they shit love like working that. with all women. That too. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, I think good. most of the males do. I don't think they really do all that though. That wiping ass and shit. Probably they might go change sheets and. They man. do that shit for really for the women. Yeah, shit, and I that's was, more man. of an uh, assistant too, a nurse assistant. Mm -hmm. if, if I was a motherfucking a woman nurse and then working with a male nurse, you gonna wipe some ass too. Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, nigga, this is equal. We get paid. Yeah. I pay check the same. So, <laughs> equal know, opportunity, call, call right? That's why I got <laughs> yeah. kids, uh, okay. children. Get your RN. Don't get. Don't just yeah, go RN. to be a nurse. Be a registered nurse. Cause the red, they they get paid more and they they do less do work. They don't do that. The RN, the RN get that. They do less out. work though. Yeah, yeah. So go get your RN license. You know what I mean? The more qualified you is, the less work you got to do, and the more money you get paid. Man. Now that's, that's a how, fact. That's how the fucking that's America fact. works. That really right. is though, bro. Cause you do all, bro. You know the motherfuckers got all them degrees, do all that, got all the qualifications, and they they get this high position. And they don't do shit. Like they bro. just they just. Push the work on other people. I know shit directors like that. and executive directors of universities, bro. Don't do shit. They getting paid 140k, 150k, bro. You know mm. what I'm saying? And they they scheduling classes, G. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> love right there, yo. <laughs> doing too much of because, but they got their doctorates and stuff. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? It, they take, got, it take work to get. It there. take work, but and, like, and money, yo, and money, and take money. Work and but money they getting get paid there. 150, 150, like clearing it easy. Yeah, speaking of getting paid, right? Like this, because this is you got your man, boy Lil Wayne, Lil Weezy, Louisiana. Mm. See me start shaking my head, you know, it never good, baby. Now, he did, he took a picture with Trump, right? He look high as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely was hot. But see, the, him and Trump probably doing lines together. In the, the thing that, that disturbed me most about this picture was not that he was with Trump. Is that he had on a, a turtleneck and a cardigan. Yeah, like he need a fire style. He, he took a fashion risk and loss. <laughs> <laughs> he took a fashion risk and loss. I never looked at Lil Wayne. This was, he's, he can't dress at all, though. He I think he had, he had an era when um, he dropped the card too. That's when Wayne was at his flyest right there. Like that's he, it. That's, after that, everything else. I man. mean, you got, but you got to you got to put that in context. It was like 2005. That was the era because them jeans he had on in the cover is like do not age well. Yeah, them shits was baggy as shit. But anyway, he took a picture with Trump, and you know he started going on there talking about the platinum plan, and and this is why he voted for Trump and all this crap. 
which is his his that's completely his right if that's what he want to do vote for trump like but would you take a pic like how you feel about him taking a picture and telling and basically trying to influence his followers to also vote for trump mm. Yo, I, you ain't got close yo I just I, looked at it like you just showed me again how lack of of the lack of intellect that you really have. Like I ain't gonna hold you. Like you might be a wizard with the with the rhymes, yeah, but common sense no and, and, and like common sense and just like you know just common sense. <laughs> I don't yeah, think you got too many, bro. I don't think yeah, because you like like you people don't understand you you could be dumb and be a rapper like. No. All you need to do is no words and shit like exactly. that. Exactly. Let me hit you yeah. on but like, this podcast. This motherfucker <laughs> on the phone. Tell me, let me hit you. Get on the podcast. Yeah. Let's see him at the air about this shit, man. Yeah, man. We <laughs> only on yeah. live. Yeah. 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 We only recording, yeah. man. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm going to hit you when I get out of this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, you got to tell yeah. them. To, yeah, all right. You good? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, man. <laughs> what the fuck was I saying? Yeah, but Lil Wayne, right? You voting for Trump, what? Nah, I ain't vote for Trump, but like I, I, I don't expect nothing less of these celebrities. Like he's not the only one that's gonna mm -hmm. vote for Trump. There's yeah, a lot they, of them. look at they, they look at they tax bracket. Like Wayne ain't, ain't, ain't no in a Joe Biden Joe Biden friendly uh, tax bracket. Like nah, nah, not at all. Yeah, so I, it's like business reasons. Like and to be honest with you, <coughs> that's all Trump from, is though. From a business Trump point a of business view, man. Trump yeah, from a business point yeah. of view. Like that, like that shit means a lot. If you getting hundreds of million dollars, extra twenty percent here, and extra thirty percent, that shit is a big ass difference. You Hell feel yeah. me? That shit makes a lot. Like you feel me? See, like, I so think I, the regular the regular person can't can't relate to that because when they when tax season come around for the regular average Joe, it's a happy time because right. you getting money. But yeah. for for them, it's not a happy time. You got to pay money. Nah, right. I, I beg the difference because I had to talk with somebody that like today that like they make like two hundred fifty k. You feel me? A year. You feel me? So mm -hmm. I had a talk today, and it was like, you know, off my social economic level, Trump is in my ballpark. But as a whole, for my people, and for where I come from, and and my grandma, and my aunt, and all of them, I can't go like that. You know what I'm saying? I can't it's go like that. going against the grain. Yeah, it's like you know what I'm saying. Like, and that's the I think that's the the point. I think a lot of people are looking at it like, yo, what about your your peoples, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what's funny, y'all. What watched. about your family? You seen that Trump right? video? When yeah. he getting interviewed by old girl? Nah, which one? I don't, I don't be watching got, he, he was like, oh, um, what she asked him? Oh, he's talking about I don't trust the, he's like, I don't trust the media. They gonna lie and all that shit. Nah, they, I forgot old girl. She giving him an interview or whatever. Yeah, man got up in the middle of the interview. was like, yeah, look, it's over. I don't even want to talk to you no more. Yo, all, all his like, shits be funny. It do. It do. It's yo, coming. All his shits be funny as yeah, shit. Man, like, funny. Yeah, you funny as hell, though. But I'm like, like I, this nigga crazy. dumb as a weasel. Though, I'm, I'm not surprised. Tell you that one thing. I'm not surprised that uh, people like him, Fifty Cent, Ice Cube, or whoever it is, is gonna vote for Trump. Like. It's all about money. They trying to save some some tax I, dollars. I'm sorry. I, don't, I ain't gonna say um, Trump. See, reason why I think Ice Cube even um, ain't even say he was voting for him. He just wanted to hear the man out. Like at least he like he looking at like, but this is business. You can't just be go voting for Democrat. They don't never give a nah, shit. Nah, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. That's, you just like you just like a, you like a trick. But that that's what going to the yeah, point which you just it. said. Like we because we vote Democrat mm -hmm. religiously without no type of. Uh, research on on the policies or the other party policies or something like that. So like, with the guy you said that's made two hundred and fifty thousand a year, like how do we know Joe Biden's plan and and, and like that's the right thing to do for the whole people? Because it's like, more defined. Like if you look at at Trump's, you talking about as far as the policies, the platinum plan. What he said is is um. Black voters, it's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna have the highest policy standing. That's what that nigga said. Highest policy standings, and then he said improving economic opportunity for Black Americans, but never said what you know and how, and how are you gonna budget that in into the fucking trillions of dollars that the USA already I think fucking in? Even if he would have said how, and even if Joe Biden's plan gave you a full detail of what, where, how, and when. Either way, my personal opinion. Either way, neither one of them are gonna get done. Yeah, but they gonna. Yeah. That's how they, they gonna draw too. up, draw up some fancy shit for you, for you to uh, and then like dump you once you 
But who you, you would? For I would rather somebody yeah. lie to me, lie to me. <laughs> you feel me? Don't 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 just vaguely say some shit and then act and, and try to pump me up like a car salesman. You know what I'm saying? Either way, we treat it like a whore, right? Basically, right. facts. Either way, so it's like I don't know, like shit. Either way, you you basically getting fucked and you and you getting left like five dollars on the dressing type <laughs> shit. Like. That's basically what it is, like, cause you gonna go back and you gonna man, fuck them anyway. They go, man. They the they stealing out your your motherfucking stash. That's what they doing. Yeah, but when it come back around, you ain't gonna do nothing but fuck him again anyway. Uh, nigga, call you. You ain't heard from him in months. Yeah, call you four o'clock in the morning. Open the door. Put a, <laughs> put a, put a, put a helmet. Pause in the black community's mouth. Good God, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Gonna then go you right never there. They gonna go right back to it. Go right back there. And once you get the vote about them, you feel me? They gonna go about their business, man. You said some racist shit one time. Who, Joe yeah, Biden? Yeah. yeah, I believe he's a racist but, too. I believe he's but a racist all the way. Fuck, yeah, but that's why I said. But this, yeah, I look at all of them like that though. Yeah, but that's why. Cool ones that ain't, but man, them niggas ain't got no power. The ones that call them cool ones, and Mr. Rogers, nigga ain't got no power. They get ran right over. Yeah, you feel yeah. Me? no yeah. power. No, I'm just saying that's their personality. They ain't racist. Man, that ain't enough. I need a motherfucker with some power that not to be racist. Like you feel me? You can't. But that's why I say. Like, make like, a difference though. If a powerful person is fine, if man, a person that's, racist, a, man, racist. that's a big deal. You got a nigga like Bill Gates. Like yo, you know what? Man, I'm, I'm in white supremacy. You know what? The, you know what Bill Gates could do if, if he you don't know, get himself they, clipped they, by man. That's what I was about to say. You know what they could fuck around and do to him? Yeah, 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 yeah. he gonna learn. He gonna make example. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Like you feel me? Like niggas who break like that white supremacy code, like John F. Kennedy. That they make example about your ass. Like yeah. Or That's probably why a lot of them probably don't want to come out. Probably a lot of them feel morally conflicted. Probably like, yeah, I want to say something. But they probably know what happened to certain people. He probably was a part of certain people disappearing and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Nah, but next next week is a big week. I think it's going to be a shift. Like, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, I think shit. Who you think going to win, though? I really don't know. I think Trump going to win. Trump gonna Trump, win. I think yeah, Trump, Trump. But you know what? Also, win. I expect I expect violence. Yeah, I'm talking about. If, if, yeah, hold on, you that, saying if, if Trump wins, you expect violence? They, uh, they said against black people. Win. If he don't win, it's gonna be some shit. Yeah. And even if he win, it's yeah, gonna be you some shit. Still be ready and shit though, because I mean, yo, yo, that's why I've been working out. You know what I mean, going to the gun range, <laughs> shooting with my lady. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I, yo, yeah, this I shit think gonna it get real. Be you better be ready. It might be some shit either way. Be at Walmart chilling with the fam, and it's on. You feel me? It's on. Just like it's on. That's it. But I don't like think I, I don't think it's gonna be too much in the areas where we, where we live. Yeah. Now nah, I'm saying nah, I'm talking nah, about, but look, nah, I'm nah, keeping nah. hundred with you. Then you got look too, man. If you Google this shit though. Thanksgiving will be at man. Ain't worried about like, that. Trump. Yeah, like you just never know how that shit might work. I like all of those. It like, can. God forbid, like, but those protests, shit. like those like big meeting areas where you yeah, know everybody nah, go gonna, like, hey, it was pro black. Be careful. I ain't no, gonna die. You it got, can, you got, you especially got in, instigators. In, in middle in the middle tools. of America, where, where a lot of these it, situations happen in the, in, the, in the beginning, like Midwest and all that type of thing. Yeah, like those th those areas could be dangerous. You feel me? Because that's where the numbers are a little bit more even. Out yeah. here, you know, what I mean, you, it's too many different people out <laughs> here. Depending if you go, shit, nigga, you go to a certain part of Long Island, the Italian motherfuckers, man, them niggas, no Staten more, Island too. Staten yeah. Island, them motherfuckers, yeah, Staten Island, they definitely them, they, them niggas, they, you know what I mean? Staten Island is crazy, man. So man. like, you saying that shit was? Um, I just watched a documentary on HBO too about um some shit in Bensonhurst. What's the dude, little black kid that got killed and shit? One of them was working at Honey. What's that Staten Island? Nah, it's Benson. That's Brooklyn. Oh, that's Brooklyn. All right, Brooklyn. And um, one of the one of the dudes working at um Hot ninety seven that that killed the black kid. He came over there to see uh go look, go buy a car or some shit. Damn. And we oh, went over there to go buy that. a car. It's some shit happened in the early nineties, some shit like that. He went to go buy a Artists, car. Nigga. Dang. Yeah, he went to go buy a car and some um like a little Italian mob came together and shit and um and, and shot my man. They went over there cause they, some it was some Italian girl that supposed to be fucking with black dudes and shit who's been calling some uh some some shines down there as they call it. You feel me? <laughs> to come down there. Uh, Crazy. <laughs> nah, they don't come, play, dog. Yeah, we had to come down so there. Um, they that, that shit killed me when they yeah. woman want want to mess with some black dudes. They want to get mad at the at the dog. dude and shit. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They get mad at her. 
Yeah, you she killed me, want, she gonna find another one. Yeah, she the one want the pepper. Jenny yeah. want the pepper. Jenny want the pepper. Yeah, yeah. And you, if you yeah. think about it, that's a that's what all races, man. Like, besides, you know, yeah, of I ain't course, gonna lie. I can't but, even say I'm a, I'm a big fan. I, I like when I see a black girl with a white dude walking down the street. I ain't gonna lie, I give him dirty looks. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'll be honest. It's a different type of world now. So yeah, yeah, but I still do it. I, ain't gonna, I, still <laughs> I give him that little eye. I still do it. Like, so wrong. Are you sure? Faggot ass. I'll be one of those. Like, he said, you sure you won't be. Yeah, I said, right, I can't hey. do that though, man. Listen, as long as anything else, I pretty much fair game. I just this white dude, black woman, just right, so your daughter come in. You know what I mean? Nah. She come in high school. Like let's say you you move, you move to an area where Good you God. know what I mean? It's, it's it's other kids at these schools, so it's a possibility that your daughter can you know what mm. I mean see a little white boy she might like. What if she say mm. you know what I mean? That that's her boyfriend, <laughs> Billy. What's wrong with you, man? Uh, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, like uh, I I could, I I could totally respect when a white man, but I don't want my daughter with no black dude, no shit like that. Cause I feel the same way, like I swear yeah. to God, bro. I do not. I just I just don't want that, bro. You feel me? I just don't want my daughter be no swirl, no shit like that. Like <laughs> 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 nah, nah, not my motherfucking daughter. Like my nigga, nah, nah. You don't want jungle fever? Nah, nah. I'm good on that shit right there. I, I can pass side. on that shit. I can pass on that shit right so, there. So so if her father come over there, like uh. If his father come up, yeah, I don't want my son dating no black girls. He's like, yeah, well, all right, well, we, we even. I mean, you go talk, you go work with talking your camp, talk your people's your camp. I'm gonna talk to my people in my camp, like you feel me? We agree on that shit, like you feel me? We agree. Like, we agree on that one. On everything, so, like shit. Yeah, peace yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I swear to God, I don't, want, I don't want to live. I don't want to live around like a bunch of white people and not like that. I just don't. I'm not one of the type of people. Like I don't, I don't feel safe. I want diversity. I want yeah, diversity. I don't feel safe. Nah, nah for I, real. I don't even know if I want diversity. I think I want a bunch of black people. Give me all black. For I'm real. good with black people. I'm telling you, because like, at least you know what's going on. I know, I, I know this back. Exactly. Like, you feel exactly. me? Ah, right, this nigga ain't no shit. Yo, real nigga. talk, it turn out know? bad for the kids, the black kids that go to the motherfucking <coughs> white areas. That shit turn out bad for them. <coughs> they be up. anti-social. They don't know how to socialize. I'm about they, to find that shit. They be you, then, up. then you get a fo- followed home in their own neighborhood and shit right, like that. Uh, world is born. This is one of, one of this crazy shit I was telling you about the uh, little black dude that got killed and shit. To what? You get followed home in their own neighborhood, mm-hmm. shit like that. Yo, mm-hmm. you heard the news, yo? Yeah. Uh, Lamelo Ball about to be number one draft pick. Yeah, oh, that's, so that's about right. So who going? They got every draft board got him projected number one right now. But I'm saying, did yeah. Minnesota trade their pick? They that's what they're saying that they're gonna use him. They they saying if Minnesota, Minnesota get him, they're gonna use him for a trade. You they're gonna, gonna trade him. They're gonna trade him to uh, Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. For but yo, I, I seen that so shit coming, he was, bro. He's six, seven, seven, six, seven, six eight yeah. point guard, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? With his his passing skills is like, like high level, dog. This, listen, this is gonna happen. He got the aqua shot just like his brother too. Like you know, but that could be all fixed though. That could be fixed. Like he's like, 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 like from. You just need a here, shooting like, coach, real yeah, quick. Hear my prediction. This is gonna happen. What? Philadelphia 76 is gonna trade Ben Simmons. They're gonna get the number one pick. And then we're gonna get trade for uh, James Harden, Philadelphia 76ers. James Harden, yeah, yeah, that's hey. gonna happen. Okay. okay, hey, listen, you feel me? James Harden, he, it's better it's better him and Russ might take that shit east, man. Cause y'all ain't getting out the west over there, man. You think it's, James it's, Harden leave the Rockets? I think they should trade him. Mm, I doubt that. They damn, they ain't gonna trade him, bro. Yeah. I think they should. I think they should trade him. So you're what, not what, gonna win. You're not gonna win with James Harden well, by himself over there. Him and B though, like, oh, uh, you need to keep Ben Simmons with them though. Like, you need to keep them together. Like, what? With, and with Embiid? Simmons, nah, uh, Ben Simmons got to go. Nah, I think he got to go. Ben Simmons as a small forward, James Harden as a guard. You get a regular point guard in there. That's a team right there. That's a championship team. Ben team Simmons right there. can't shoot. He can't it, shoot. But he could be shit. a small forward though, or, or point forward. He good for that. Like you feel yeah, me? I take a, point, a power yeah. forward. Like he good I, at that. I don't want. That's gonna be his team. downfall though. As he get older, he can't shoot. He can't shoot, and that's and what the Kumbo he, too. He has to develop. At least he's shooting though. At least he's trying to. He shoot. has to. Ben Simmons has to develop. Ben Simmons that. don't even try to shoot. Or it's gonna be you know he might be an eight like year career so. player. <laughs> he might be eight nine years, and that's mm. it. If he don't develop that career that shot, but shit is crazy. You know what I mean? That's shit, what the shit. league about now. If you can't shoot, it's over for you. You're not having no long career. Uh, it's too, it's too, like it's too many people coming in shooting deep from deep and all that now. It's mid range, uh, all yeah. that shit. Like light, you gotta be able to do that. It's like a layup now. 
Oh, word up, man. I don't know. But, but like, in B, though, you can't, I can't really trust building around in B, though, because in B, it's get too, hurt too much. No, but you ain't building you know around in B if you bring James Harden in. But how you, how you not build around in B, though? He's like a, like a, 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 one of the best, top best right I'm now. Saying, top if 10 you, players if, right if now. You, if, you bring in, if you bring James Harden in, that's not, and then you got uh, fucking, you not building around him. The number one pick, LaMelo Ball. Yeah, bro. James Harden in the in the B, that's championship quality, bro. I just uh-huh. yo, hats off to Levar Ball. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, got I, two Levar sons Ball, in the NBA. He he did his thing with his boys. He, I ain't gonna hold. He you. He predicted a lot, but then he it's it's the thing with predictions. When 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 you predict something and you get it right, maybe you should stop predicting things because eventually you're gonna get it wrong. That's like, all right. <laughs> He said, "This all right, shit. Yeah, I got yeah, this far. I, I told you, sometimes you the best, sometimes you the salmon, man. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? He got his boys to the NBA. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? I got this far, but nah, it was yeah. just funny because oh, he sure. made he made a prediction. He was like, yeah, I guarantee it.' Okay. Like when they traded, uh, L- 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 uh, what's what's the first name? Lonzo. When they traded Lonzo out the Lakers, he said, yeah, the Lakers. That's the stupidest move they ever gonna make. They never right. gonna win another championship. I guarantee it. So I was wrong. And they won. NBA the next year. NBA Draft.net got him going number three. And what team that's is that? Good. Jordan and was that's third, that's man. Charlotte. Charlotte got the number third pick. Charlotte and Golden State got somebody from fucking Europe, bro. He is six nine small forward. Hold on, number Golden third State pick is Charlotte problem next year. Yo. Yeah, they Golden probably State don't even pick him. Nah, you know, they, Charlotte, you know, they, they, they make dumb but they got. Picks, I knew man. they was going to do that boy from Georgia, though. Anthony Edwards. Y'all ever, y'all seen him play? I seen some highlights. Yo, he's, 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 he, he's a physical beast, bro. He's 6'5", probably like 220, but fast as hell. And explosive. He played the point? Shooting guard. Shooting guard. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he explosive. So, that's why they, and he could put up buckets. He averaged 19 as a freshman. He put up buckets, you know what I'm saying? Hey, oh, if... Check this, right? Let's mm-hmm. say if Mike Tyson offended you, if he was sitting right here talking, he offended you. Would you tell him that you offended? Hell uh, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gonna take the consequences? Talking to me like that, bro. You gonna take the consequences? <laughs> Mike Tyson. Hey, Oprah gonna look at his phone. Oh, 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 hey, Oprah gonna look at his phone. He's not gonna whip your ass. Yeah, yeah, you gonna be talking like that? He's not gonna whip your ass. Mike, I'm Mike gonna get a couple shots. Mike gonna, so he gonna he, shoot a Hall of Famer. He's he, he gonna knock you the fuck he out. Shoot, oh, yeah, Hall of Famer. You gonna shoot a Hall of Famer? Yeah, he might be putting no hands on me though. But all right, right, what you gonna do? Right crazy. now, you can't Mike get to your gun. So slap. right now, but like, what you gonna right do? No, 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 no. Uh, if you ain't got no gun on you, no, nah, I'm right. telling Mike if, if that's my man. No, this your first time meeting him. He he doing the interview. Yeah. You you he doing the interview. You on his show. Cause you know Boosie was on the Mike Tyson. I know, I know, I know he was getting. I know he was getting that. <laughs> so when you said the Boosie again, he was. Are like, you a homosexual? Yeah, I'm like. No, yeah, he he, he, he told him. him. He actually said you possibly could be a. a yeah, a but gay. This, the, the, the funny thing is, Boosie just sitting there looking at this man like like he he wanted to say something. I know he. he like, I can't clap because yeah, cool. I'm gonna throw my whole shit away. I clap. He man. wanted to say something. If I, if I, if I like, come at him crazy, I can't. My security come fuck. This ain't the thing I can't. My security <laughs> come fuck. My security gonna talk to me about that shit. Like yo. security gonna get fucked up basically. But like, yeah, he he was mad that. uh that Boosie said something about Dwayne Wade's son yeah, yeah, or yeah, daughter, so. daughter, excuse me, no, I was just... son, daughter. I don't know. Nah, you know bro, come on, bro. Come I don't on, know, bro. man. On, this man. is, you know what I mean, daughter. Yeah. They tell me you. They t- they say you gotta call him a daughter now. Oh, this, so, this they, is what they so say. he had a sex chain. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, they ain't doing all this shit like that, man. That's what I thought. But see, this is the he's thing. He's a homosexual. Just just put it like yeah, that. Yeah, but I ain't know he was yeah, yeah, call him. Yeah. No, but he wanted to be called a girl. He does. Yeah, he changed the name and all that. Yeah, I want to be called Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can see it. You know what I mean? Hey, you feel me? That is Dr. Queen. You feel me? I don't want to go to medical school yeah, or nothing like that. You feel me? Bro, I think, I think he's That's 13. too young, though. That's no, like, saying, 12 like or 13. The, like you confused. Yeah. I don't know what's yeah. going on at that age. That's, yeah. that's like, yeah. come on. Your brain it's don't develop at twenty five. It's definitely too young. I think. I think that's. And if you want to live that young. lifestyle, it's one, one, I mean, you live that shit once you get out of my house. You ain't about to be doing all that shit in my house. Hell no. The one way it feel different. Shit. No, nah, I'm saying, but see, see, keeping a hundred with you too, like, like, 
I kind of think, man, they just they just like doing that shit for that. They pushing that shit on the culture, like right now, man. They just trying to make that shit accepted amongst us. Then they they make you wrong out to be wrong if you don't accept that shit though. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, like you don't got like you feel me saying? If you don't accept this, oh something wrong with you. you yeah, don't like what, 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 what like, Larry who say? With that what what, what Larry who would say? He said he said man could want to lay you down, pause, put a joint in your butt, <laughs> and when you try to move, they gonna call you rebellious and shit like that. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, yeah. Come on, man. You feel me? That's a real shit though. Like, but nobody just don't want to do that shit like that. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Trying to feminize the whole, like, you know that what I'm saying? all over the TV now. Like, yeah, everywhere. Crazy. Every TV show. Commercials. Every, t- every TV what? show. Every single TV yeah. show I watch has a representative of a gay black male. They got cartoons with two oh, moms, too. Like, it's wild out You see the cartoon with yeah. the dude? It was some racist shit. Um, it was on YouTube, matter of fact. It's called... The fuck that shit called? Every fucking show. I seen a post of it on, on the gram, and I Google, I went to YouTube. I'm like, this shit for real. It was... The That's why my man. kid got you two kids. He don't got hey, nothing you, else. You know what this shit all? Nah, this it's, shit, it's a cartoon though. Still. You don't think it's for kids, but, but you, it's not. Like, you gotta watch kids. what they watching. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like your kids, you gotta watch what they watching. Oh, of course. You, you, uh, got, yeah. uh, you got, you got, we got motherfucking um, a witch man call it right now. It's, a, it's, a, it's an organization called Mambler. As a, as a national organization for man and boy love, some shit like that. Like you feel me? I swear what? to God, what, was it as a group? They trying to take the uh, the law, or, uh, the illegal activity out of being a pe- making their own being a pedophile illegal and shit. They that's trying to next. Yeah, I tell you that that's next. They trying to take that to try to make that shit not be a crime type shit. I say that's crazy. Bro. That's next. I told you because yeah. if you could say if you could have a say uh, you pull that, that bullshit that organization up though, like you if you me? could say that you was born gay. Then what's not to say you was born a pedophile? Like that's crazy. It's like they trying to make it to like a sexual orientation. Like we're talking. Like, what I'm, I'm and what's it called? It's crazy. I'm to look that shit up. National organization for man and boy love, some shit like that. Cause see, they, they trying to put uh, sexuality on a spectrum. Like like you could be sixty five percent straight type of thing, and you could be like five percent bisexual and. Five percent asexual and type of shit like that. This, this, this is what like, they trying to get say. Get your freak ass out of here. That's what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> see, either yeah. you're a freak or not. Yeah. See, my thing. I ain't even knocking whatever person do. That's just your thing. Like, but just own your truth, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 Don't don't try to push that shit on kids and shit like that. I, was it this one? Yeah, that's it. You see, they got a whole website, bro. Yeah, they, they trying to get trying to get, they trying to get registered Dot members. Org. All Look, the they got shit. they got oh shit. Look, got the black gun. Get the fuck out of here, like you feel me? This shit. Yo. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't even read that. That's shit. crazy. What is, this shit right here? what is it? That's a gay cartoon. No, it's some racist cartoon. Ah oh, man, look, we are. It's always fucking racist cartoons and. That's crazy though. But yo, you know your man. Jay stop right there. What? Stop right there. Stop. Stop. No, 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 no. What's the name of that cartoon? Officer Choker. They got a cartoon called Officer Choker where they got a they got a big muscle bound white cop choking out a little a baby, a black baby right now. It's called Officer Choker on YouTube. Shit crazy, yo. Yeah. Shit is crazy, man. Yo, man, we gonna get into this artist spotlight real quick, man. We gonna get into motherfucking The Fix. Check this out, man. The Fix by the Griselda, man. Yo, a knock at my window got me jumping and shit Like pardon the interruption while I bag my shit I ain't have to take the block out, hustle the strip I done seen real niggas go from bundles to bricks Now I'm in a different trap, had to stop that shit Started a podcast just to pop my shit Yeah, queasy sagging me to the top and shit Don't play up in these streets, you could die from this Cops see me on the block with the valves through lens while some beat drop clock for violence At your wake been I replaying violence Being patient got me thinking about that time I spent In the hood, highlights on the block and bent We you really seen money without common sense I palm the blade, I be the don of this Old evil whole 
305 like Donovan I line this bitch, get you all kinds of hit Then I'm coming for the bag, every dime of it Design to fit, bitch wanna suck my dick Yeah, I fuck all the time without time for it You washed the lit, read up with some counterfeits Plug was pissed, let it go, I plug your shit The rug it is, cheese meet up with the thugs and shit when it's beef, knock a metal on the snub, I spit. I'm more than rich, got three kids and shit. They living, bitch. When I die, I'm leaving businesses. Instead of working for a nigga who owe me shit. Griselda told Virgil he could write brick on a brick. Shit, since he doing that, write bitch on my bitch. Yeah, I need to be admitted, just admit it, I'm sick. The venom is click, bout to cop a cinnamon six. Yeah, I used to ride and get him, now they sending me shit. HSP, TFG, Guarded Energy, shit, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's the fix, man. Y'all go check that out on YouTube, man. Go check that out. Run the numbers up. But yo, mm. you know, uh, what's 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 my man name from from Migos? Quavo, his girl, sweetie. Yeah. She was talking yeah, about uh, Birkins. You know, they was talking about Birkin bags. Yeah, they been shit. talking about that all week. Now. Oh, yeah. Birkin what happened bags. With that? I seen that shit though. Yeah, I keep talking about what happened with that shit. I don't know how it started, but I know the the, 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 the shit that threw me off was when they was like, yeah, you know, if um, basically, if a dude not not buying you a Birkin bag, then. Then you leave shouldn't fuck streets. with him. Yeah, you should leave him to the streets. Send him back where you got him and all that shit. Like, you need to leave that girl. Alone. Like, this is on the introduction mm-hmm. though. Like, you feel me? Like, you meet a chick, right? And she talk about you feel me? Like, if you like her, you gotta buy her a Birkin bag type shit. Bitch probably don't even got a job. <laughs> Bitch probably don't even got a uh, mattress. Talking about Yo, a Birkin bag. I had a scenario like that. I came Car up. Nothing. I came up like fifteen hundred, right? So I came up fifteen hundred. You know what I mean? You tricking. No nah, man, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a wizard, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I came up with 1500. I gave my girl the option like, "All right, what you want to do? This is for you." You feel me? What you want to do with it? My girl ain't say nothing about no Birkin bag, none of that. She was like, "I want to get my uh cuz she had a hole for her degree." Yeah. She put that on her degree. Get her degree. You feel me? Like yeah, uh, smart. That's, that's, the, that's, the, yeah, that's, that's the priorities. The, yeah. Like, and that's when you know you gotta you gotta keep her. You know what I'm saying? Them right. girls are saying that shit, boy. You better, boy. You guys build. That's what that sound like to me. Like, you guys build. <laughs> you better right. leave you it. Me? You better uh, leave it. Shit, the the fucking price of Birkin bag costs, nigga. You could get a fucking down payment on a nice ass house and shit like that. You feel me? Like, but right. they rather have a brick. Like, like, man, look, I'm gonna look at it, bitch, bro. She asked me for but on, on on the introduction though. This is the introduction. That means like, as soon as we meet, I have to buy you a Birkin bag in order to like to to be in a relationship with you or to kick it with you. That's wild. I yeah, gotta spend. Wild, yo. How much a Birkin bag cost? Shit, thousand. Type of, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, get it for yeah. like twelve, thirteen hundred. Oh, I think it's more than that. It's shit more than that. On the it? on the like that's like off the truck. <laughs> that's probably no. I'm just saying that's probably like the lowest one. But yeah, they, they got some bags that cost yeah. a couple dollars. They thousands though. Yeah, thousands. Yeah. See how much a Birkin bag costs real quick. But that it's shit, like, that shit don't. That look at. I look at the mentality of that. You know what I mean? But you gotta understand what uh, Sweetie, right? That's her name. Yeah, Sweetie. So, so you gotta understand where she come from, right? Her background. What was her background? Her mom was a video girl. Yeah, her dad is. Huh? Her mom was in, in the Second Nelly generation. Was in the Nelly video. I forgot. <laughs> it was a video where he had girls in the truck and he was riding. And you know what I'm saying? He was like on a freeway. Shit. Oh, nah, these broken bags don't cost no fifteen hundred. Like five, six hundred. Some shit like shit, that. Fifty thousand. Fifty. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So basically, if nigga ain't hit the lotto, you can't fuck. You shouldn't be fucking with him. Like you feel me? So like I look at it like I already know how she coming, right. you know what I mean? From her mother being a video girl, you already know how she coming, bro. Yeah, because this is Hermes, Hermes Birkin bags for like fifty thousand, sixty thousand, forty thousand. They got something like twenty thousand. It all depends on the, the the bag and shit, but depends on the season. Like that, that's a lot of money for for a person. You feel me? Like that's way too much money for a person. You know what I mean, you might as well get a house and shit. Like I don't understand that. Chick, right. shit, you might as well ask for a house if you can 
Get a nigga to buy you a Birkin. But see, shit like that, that's for the, that's for the motherfuckers that got it like that. Mm. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Even yeah, like, if you like, got like, it like, like that. Like, like, like Melo's side qualifies. chick might get a Birkin bag. Like, Melo's, yeah, that's some shit like yeah, that. Boy, spend, boy. Like, when you got a lot of money, motherfuckers spend money on dumb shit. Dumb nah, shit, nah, bro. I feel you, but my thing is, what qualifies this woman to receive a Birkin bag on the first meetup? Like, what qualifies? Because you look good? You deserve. I'm saying some niggas trick like that though. That's a different I mean, type I of trick. I was working at the airport. This is a girl. Because if you up. find a chick that, that means she's nice. Look, I'm, I'm nah, like, more than you nice. Need, you need, you need nice. to be nice. I'm just saying she's bad to the bone. She, yeah. she, she, she bring that money in for you too. That, that's the only time you pussy buying a girl. You can't, like yeah, that, you can't be getting no. That bitch ain't got no job. She ain't got no type of hustle going mm-hmm. or nothing. How would you? You just met her. You don't know what she got going on. Hey, well, is like, you, you trying to? Is you trying down, to? Man. You trying to meet and greet with her, or you just trying to like what you trying to do with her? Well, uh, you 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 could give her the time of her life for way less than fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Hell yeah! You could take out wine and dine and do all type of shit. You could fucking rent a fucking Lamborghini <laughs> for the weekend for less than fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. You could do a lot. You have a fucking ball for less than fit. Now you bitch, you crazy. <laughs> Me too, bitch, you crazy. I ain't buying a billion dollars an hour. And then what, look, what if y'all break up? Yeah, see, cause you be like, you're just like, oh, she, I bought a little Birkin bag, a little nine thousand. Take that little shit, baby. Girl. Mayweather, nah. Mayweather, she smart. With her new nigga and shit with your bag and shit, like you feel me? Nah, but Floyd Mayweather, smart. You know, he bought them bags and shit. He buy them for himself. He <laughs> bought the Birkin bags. They, they his. Yeah. So when he got his chicks. Y'all want y'all want a Birkin bag? Here, go in the closet. Pick which one you want. Yeah. I got them all, all the colors. They mine. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta give them back, <laughs> bitch. That's you you want to leave? Yeah. I leave. Put that back on the shelf. Put it back for the next bro. Right. Mm. You, you seen that? You seen that little interview he did talking about? He got uh, he got his whole, but he got Birkin bags for 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 his bitches like. That's tricking. He has a different level with it. No, but they his. He ain't going to the store already. No, no, he's not yeah. buying her bag. <clears throat> they his. Yeah. Well, I that's mean, a you, different level of tricking, though, for real, bro. Yeah, bit, look, that, sweetheart, that, you can hold on to the bag. Yeah. That, that's some now, Once we finish, like put that back. You got to put the bag back. Yeah. Yeah. Spoon, that's spoon right. feed is best. Keep the depending on it. It's ladies. I mean, I'm a bitch. As long as you with me, she got she you 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 could put your wallet and all that on all your toiletries and, and shit like that in that bag. Well, you gotta clean that motherfucker out but when see, it's time to shit, go. That shit destroying the culture, right? Cause like that shit gonna send these little niggas to jail or get killed. Trying to buy a Birkin bag well, for all bag. older niggas get get jailed or get killed. Over some trying to get your girl a Birkin bag. Like you you out here really hustling on some shit and then you fuck around. Get uh, the the book slammed at you. Get murdered. You know what I'm saying? Man, now what happened? She there. <laughs> and now she going to the next nigga. Well, I, and pictures with that nigga with that Birkin bag. Same Birkin bag. <laughs> you <feel me? laughs> like, that's why you should you should should have made her put it back on the shelf. But y'all think y'all think like when rappers y- y'all think they bring value or to these things when they rap about them and they get popular and shit like that. Or you think it decreases the value of, of, of these certain items and shit. I think it increased with rappers. Increase, they got, the rappers got it. influence, yeah. Yeah, it increases it. But it, it can also decrease. It can decrease if it, if it get, like, too much and shit. Like, if everybody start buying them and right. everybody got it and shit. But that's the reason Nike only makes certain amount of shoes. Like, when it comes to Jordans and shit like that, yeah. they only make a certain amount because you don't want everybody. You, you know everybody want a fucking Jordan one. Yeah. But you're not gonna make enough where everybody can get it right now. Yeah, yeah. Because then it 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 it'll depreciate the value because everybody have it. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? No, they definitely influence that shit because they it be the biggest triggers. Yeah. Word <laughs> up! Soon as somebody say something in the rap, that shit yeah, go yeah. sky high. Everybody want one. The fucking Balenciagas. Soon as people start talking about them in raps, everybody want big shoes and shit like that. That shit be looking goofy, but I guess that's the style <laughs> shit. I still look, I think it look goofy. The Those way you wear big it. Big ass Balenciagas. The, nah, the way you wear it. I think, wild. yo, you could, you could be dressed like a million dollars. It's the way you wear it, B. Like, you feel me? If you wear that shit all goofy, yeah, you got a goofy style and stilo about yourself, it's going to be goofy. Nah, you right. You right, man. But them, them, shits is, them shits is too big. Them fucking shoes. You know what I'm talking about? Nah. Uh, Balenciaga? Yeah, niggas be I just say, yo, I just, nah, shit. shout out to my man Zeke. I just say he had some shit together. He's fly today, man. What about boys, uh, he had some green joints on. Big ass shoes. Good. 
Big they got, the little, they got the little, the size, little, size, they got the little teacup at the bottom. Like, how you freak them? Like, how you freak them? My boy put them together today. Them shits look. That's good, what I'm saying. You gotta put it together, right? You know. Yeah, yeah. Put, you gotta put it together. I don't, I don't. I don't like them. They too big for me. <laughs> they, they, they look good. I like. I like they, they cool. I don't man. like them. They too yeah. big. I see why niggas fuck with them. I can see why niggas fuck with them. I see why as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, niggas just had a debate about that last night about the Alice Animal Queens because the nigga who owned it gay niggas like. Like uh-huh. Versace gay, all the niggas gay, also. yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. by, it's nigga, a lot of gay designers. Probably yeah, make shit. Maserati gay. Over mm-hmm. their sexuality, <laughs> nigga. Like, shit, Maserati. I'm just saying. You hey, just... and then on top of that, the mother, my, uh, the gay motherfuckers had to be, be the best designers and shit. Like, they make the best shit, if you ask me. Best designers, yeah, I, hairstylists. I, mean, I don't know. I can't. I mean, some tell me not to co sign that. But some said, I don't some know why. Yeah, I don't know why. Food, but I ain't going to co sign that. I ain't thinking that. I ain't thinking that one through. They definitely be the best hairstylists. They the motherfuckers be they be killing the shit. Them gay. He cut your hair? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard the shit from with Lil Durk. He said he said, said Tay. He said he heard the Tay was the best. It, 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 that's what, oh, that's the motherfucker that sell expensive wigs. And yeah, shit right he be there, out man. in Atlanta and shit. And that's why I be seeing all the girls. Shit, how and the shit. fuck do he know? He well, he got his dreads. Because his girl get his it. Problem. His girl get it. Yeah, I guess. She, he, My yeah. girl said that. That's the reason I know though. My girl told me she want a wig from Tay. For, uh, I think that shit was like. <laughs> I can see beats up be up a Shit, about twelve bands. Like, yeah, hey, that's exactly band. how much it was. Told me twelve thousand dollars for a wig from Tay. I said shit. That's how these girls coming right now. They man. crazy. You see what clout would get you though? Clout just because it's, it's you feel me? Just because you popping, you got yeah. you got you could charge yeah. twelve thousand for a wig. Oh yeah, shit is crazy, man. Charge them up. Fuck it. And like it's so, it's only but so good you could put a fucking wig on. Like it, it, it got to be a limit to how good you could put a. Like you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like you like a haircut. It's only so straight you can make a line. Like, yeah. Like motherfucker, you charge five hundred for this haircut? Really? I told my I told my shorty I don't like lace fronts. Don't wear that shit. What's the difference between uh, them shit? Them shit don't be looking right. Them shit be looking like don't cheap. Don't wear them like, shit. They shit look, do the lace buttons look crazy. Yeah, don't wear, I don't like them shit. With so little stop. fake scalp and shit. Yeah, don't wear yeah. that shit. I don't like that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> You don't see me try to wear it was all right, It was alright at first. Cause <laughs> right. I ain't, it was alright at first when chicks wear it. Cause you couldn't really tell. But once I figured out what it was. And then they start wearing them lower and lower. Like, and that shit be... Like they eliminate their forehead. That's when it's out of control. It's out of control, man. It's out of control. Out of control, man. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, no lace fronts 2021. We getting rid of all lace fronts, man. And like Queasy say, man, sometimes you the best, sometimes you the salmon, man. Well, the gambler's life, my nigga. The gambler's <laughs> life. You must have lost some money last weekend. Nah, right? nah, nah. Actually, nah, I'm just saying. I was explaining to my little cousin and shit. Shout out to <laughs> Kels and shit, though. Oh, he, 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 be, he be getting on me about me gambling and shit. Like, damn, cuz you always want to, cuz he be mad. Really, I be taking long stuff, making while I make my best and shit. He was trying to wait for me to go somewhere and shit, but I, like, I gotta get my shit. This is what I, I do. I take my, this I, shit, I, my I look, I'm my keeping it 100 with you. This shit. Be holding a nigga like you feel me? If hey. I do like this shit, be but I, I just don't be like motherfucking um, don't be going over there. Sometimes I might go a little crazy, but sometimes, but most time I I, I, I do look, look thirty dollars. But look, $40. I, I just play with. Is it, you, you putting is you putting your money on 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 Ben DiNucci this weekend? No sir, my money's against. The whole NFC. I don't want nothing to do with none of that over there. I don't know what just my just my luck. But the news you might go out there, get on some soldier boy shit, mm-hmm. crank it and, and turn up on Carson Wentz. That's because you put it in the universe. He's the, only, he the only one I don't know what to expect from. Everybody else. Put that in the universe, nigga. He about to turn up. Nigga, I'm about to bet on his ass next week. Yeah, nah, nah, Benji Nucci ain't gonna do shit. I can tell you that right now. He ain't gonna do that. Uh, but you you I'm just saying, you don't know because I watch his so college tough. highlights. He doesn't have any highlights. Dang. His college highlights are no highlights. That's bad. His college yeah, highlights yeah. are like run out the catches. Like he throw a short pass and the receiver do all the work. Like those are all his highlights. Oh yeah, so yeah. Like he trust me, we're gonna lose. He's gonna do very bad. Carson Wentz don't got nobody to protect him though. Like, but then he ain't no we ain't got nobody to run at him. So shit. They like he's like, <laughs> I, I, say, hey, I can't fuck with that game, bro. I don't want no part of that game. You ain't got like, no highlights, shit. That's what athletes, that's what you live by, nigga. I nah. still got highlights from high school, nigga. You he YouTube, don't have, he don't have no highlights. Yeah, man. But yeah, if y'all yo, check this out, man. If y'all want high society merch and t shirts, you feel me? They fit right. real good. They look looking real good over here, man. I think I got I got one on underneath, but high society t shirts, right. y'all want some, hit me up, DM. You already know, man. It's Hot Society Podcast, episode 57. 
You already know, man. I'm B High, the Sass 2 4, Queasy's Way. My man O, holla at y'all next week, man. Hot Sidey Podcast, you already know.